This is for if your brand new headlight that you bought does not work. So this is the older one. It's connected, it works. This here is the newer one. It's plugged in, doesn't work. I connected the, the plug here. Headlight don't work, it's brand new. So to make it work, you have to do a software reinstall for it to recognize. So if you get back in the car, you go click on this guy here, and then you will have to do a software reinstall. So there's a software update, but uh, to do a software reinstall, man, it's been a while since I did this, but I'll just go. I'll just log in. You can do also a factory reset, but uh, I'm gonna click on software and I'm gonna hold that for five seconds until it blinks. Type in the service and then enter and then enter. Close my door real quick. So now we're here. If you don't like this screen and you're nervous, just exit. So here it says software reinstall. I'm gonna click software reinstall. And then it's gonna say, do you want to? I'm gonna say, uh, I'm say it says here software reinstall should only be used if TCU KNC has been replaced. Do not use the following a car computer replacement. So I'm gonna click Reinstall and see if this 2024 Tesla Model 3 resets the headlight. My other one was a 2022, so software updating. By the way, to make it work, make sure your Wi Fi is hooked up. I don't think I've done a reinstall on this car yet. It can take up to 10 minutes, but this one's already updated, so hopefully two or three minutes. Here, here's some clinking and clanking. That's uh, the battery closing and opening, from what I understand. So basically, anytime you get a brand new headlight, it has a module on there that's attached and the module is not recognized by Tesla and in order for it to recognize a new module you actually have to do a software reinstall or a software update so we'll let it do its thing it shouldn't take longer than two or three minutes although it's, this thing's going pretty slow but then you can just fast forward it. Um, I'm just gonna record it and see how long it takes. Long story short, I had to replace uh, the front headlight, fender, and door. And uh, bought myself a newer headlight on eBay. Plugged it in, and now I just need to reflash the software. <coughs> Leave a comment if you're doing something with your headlights, uh, if you've got questions or comments on how to do this easier. The only way that I know how to get the headlights to work is if you do a software reinstall. The hazards weren't working either, which is up here by the way. The hazards button. So let's see. I got state patrol tomorrow. So I need to make sure everything's working so I can pass it and register the vehicle. While that's doing that, let's get a tour. It's a 2024 Tesla Model 3 upgrade Highlander. Or a reflash or whatever. 
The main thing that's newer is the interior. The steering wheel's nicer. I notice the interior is much nicer. I don't know if I mentioned that. The bottom of the door has a latch. That's kind of nice. Um, yeah, so back here, I had to replace, uh, well, the quarter panel had some damage. Did some work on that. The door had some damage. And then the fender had to get replaced. And the front bumper had some damage. Everything else checks out. Airbags are good. Hood was good. Oh, there it goes. Turned on. Perfect timing. So now you can see they both work. Software reinstall worked. Sweet. Looks like they actually turned on while it's still doing its thing. Finishing update. Driving disabled. Do not drive until complete. So yeah, so if your headlight is brand new and you're wondering why it don't work, it's because the software needs to reconnect with the new module and the new headlight. You can also take off the old module from your old headlight if it's good and use the same one on the same side and it would work actually without doing the software update. Uh, okay, so now we're back at the red screen. And everything's good to go. And on the bottom right, um, should be an escape. Uh, let's click on this red button here. And then click exit service mode. I'll hold. Okay. There we go, guys. So, let's see if the turn signals work just to make sure. Awesome. Like and subscribe if you are a Tesla owner. I make videos on how to do basic repairs and maintenance on these vehicles. Take care.